What's up guys? And today we are in the Nimbashi district in Osaka, Japan. I don't think I said that right. Leave in the comments if I mispronounced that. Yes, I got different sunglasses on. These are my night shades. Kinda, I think I should change it up a bit. Can't blame me. So tonight, I am with the tour group and we're gonna walk around and see what this great city has to offer. And I've heard that Osaka is the kitchen of Japan. So, let's go find out. So just by walking around right now, so many lights and so much restaurants. Like, there are so many restaurants as the eye is, it's overwhelming. There's like a lot of restaurants. So right now we're about to hit up a couple of restaurants and see how the food is. I'm very excited about that. Chicken boots. Uh, Good old fried chicken. And something I found So what we have right here is okonomiyaki, which is basically a Japanese pancake, what I like to call it. It's like uh, it has a uh, pork, squid, and octopus in it. So. I'm gonna try it out. So after eating that, ooh, it's very good. It's very fluffy, it's very soft. It has so many flavors in it too. I'm impressed so far. So I just got done eating there. Lots of good food. Um, had one good drink. It was it was a it was a chew high. It was a carbonated uh, lemon lime flavor, which I like very much. But uh, we're gonna keep going on and see what else we can find. So we're about to hit up this little bar here and see what kind of hospital hospitality we can get. So let's go. So right now I'm gonna try mokoru. Hey, what's what happens in Osaka? I'm gonna try mokoru, which is a Korean drink, and it looks real milky. And I'm gonna try it out. Oh, it's real smooth. Um, and I heard it's good for your skin, so that's a plus. And this is the what it comes in. It's in a bright green bottle. It's from Korea, so it has a lot of uh, Korean writing on it. It looks nice. So for my next drink, it's going to be shoju, which is a Japanese liquor, and it's 25% alcohol, so... Oh. Okay, I can definitely taste it. Yeah. That stuff will knock you out. Gotta be careful with that. Both good drinks so far. I like the, the Korean one. It's real, real more smooth, plus alcohol, compared to the Japanese liquor. It kind of tells you something. I'm not trying to be offensive. <laughs> so just got done drinking in there. Very friendly atmosphere. Um, the bartender was really friendly. Um, <laughs> I liked it. It was a real relaxing atmosphere. So let's move on to the next place. Our 
We're about to enter another. Oh, that was just another alley. <laughs> so many places. So we're about to go in here. Hopefully we can fit. Um, it looks comfy, so I'm excited for this. Um, <laughs> Oh, this is a tiny place. Oh, this is a tiny place. Like, I'm standing outside right now, but it's a really relaxing atmosphere. So, like, I'm gonna see what this place has got to offer. So, right now, I'm about to try this place. It's uh, infamous sake. If you don't know what sake is, it's rice wine, and you drink it here in Japan. Normally, they serve it cold or hot, but I'm getting it served cold. This is just how they do it at this place, but let's try it out. I'll come, I'll come up here and see if I can uh, see Looks like water. Boom. It's really sweet. And they fill it up to the brim, but that's how they do it here. But uh, I kind of like it. It's like something you would eat with a steak or something like that. Not bad. So right now I'm about to have smoked doi kon, which is a good uh, bar snack. Uh, this is what it looks like. Free market, but you can find it around. Like it's every place. So that white stuff is actually mayonnaise. So I'm gonna dip it in there real quick. Wow. Sometimes. It's real crunchy. But that's a that's really good. You gotta have it. So I got another good snack. Uh, I'm gonna try chikawa. So basically it's fish with beef, I think. And they uh, they put it in that hot pot right there. That's what it looks like. It's like a long uh, piece. So I'm gonna try it real quick. I need a master chopsticks. Oh my gosh, I can't even chopstick right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, come on. And I got it. It's pretty good. It's kind of chewy, but that's a good snack to have. It really fills you up. So we just got done um, blocks in there. It was a very friendly, friendly very friendly bar. So far, everyone's everyone's been friendly and um, really accepting. So I'm getting a good feeling about this. So we're gonna keep on going down and see where else, what other friendly places we could find. So found another place we're about to go into. And let's see if they're friendly again. Let's go. <laughs> Arigato. So we just got done with the that place. It was a whiskey bar. Uh, still friendly service. Um, they served a good bottle of whiskey. Very smooth. The place keeps getting better and better. So let's find out what else we can find. So guys, I'm walking around and I've noticed these cats. Uh, that's adorable. All these cats are just relaxing there, just chilling. Look at everybody passing by. That's cool. That's great. This place is amazing. Like it's so alive. It's it's truly fantastic. I love it. It's really great. 
so great. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 it's really crowded, I swear. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose uh, my tour if, if I don't keep up. <laughs> This is the Gleeco. Why are you stopping? Well, yeah, appropriate for... So guys, what I have to say about Osaka is amazing. Like, honestly, in my opinion, Osaka is a little better than Tokyo. This is my opinion, I think it's better than Tokyo. There's so much nightlife, it's so alive. The atmosphere is great. Lots of, lots of delicious food, lots of friendly people. I highly recommend it. So when the next time you're in Japan, try to come to Osaka. It's, it's something. Also, if I mispronounce anything, or if I have any wrong facts about something, just please let me know in the comments and we'll both learn something and if you like this video and if you want to keep tagging along with my adventures please like and subscribe and until next time